So Huntington's disease is um, a relatively rare inherited neurodegenerative disease um, that that causes neurodegeneration, breakdown of neurons, um, and and ultimately results in in a, a clinical triad of symptoms. So cognitive symptoms, motor symptoms, and psychiatric symptoms for most individuals. The hallmark motor symptom of Huntington's disease is chorea, and chorea is generally defined as an involuntary movement. It's an irregular arrhythmic movement. Uh, that seemingly flows from one body part to the next. We know that in the U.S. there are roughly 41,000 individuals living with Huntington's disease, but over 200,000 individuals are living at risk, um, that are at risk for inheriting the disease. And approximately 90% of the 41,000 individuals in the U.S. Um, uh, affected with, um, with Huntington's disease will at some point develop chorea. We know that the prevalence of HD varies throughout the world, and there are pockets throughout the world uh, that have a much higher prevalence. Um, so I'm just right now speaking to really the, the prevalence within the, the U.S. Chorea really can have a negative impact on our patient's quality of life, a negative impact on their functional independence. Uh, chorea can lead to loss of employment, social embarrassment. Um, it, chorea can lead to difficulty with just simple tasks that we all take for granted every day, brushing our teeth, washing our hair, feeding ourselves. Chorea can negatively impact swallowing, uh, walking, and even lead to, in some cases, rare cases, wrongful incarceration. So chorea can be very disabling. Chorea is only one of the many symptoms, however, that our patients experience. Of course, the cognitive and psychiatric symptoms are incredibly uh, troublesome as well. Um, but we know that in, um, for, for Korea in particular, because of the impact it can have on day-to-day -day function, it can place a huge burden not only on the, our, the patients that are experiencing the Korea, but also on their caregivers.